Wait. Jill's got some heavy jiggle physics on. Like, like her chest is bouncing a solid second after she stops moving. Jill. That's basically choosing my difficulty. Actually, I want normal. This is, this is an HD remaster. Okay. Oh, what? I can choose their BSAA outfits? I can choose their BSAA outfits. <laughs> Oh yes, here we go! Helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Chicken Brad! The good old days of Chicken Brad! Victims were apparently eaten, but we lost contact. Oh, that's right, Joseph! There's so many people, these characters, I used to you know all these characters' names. We continued our search for the other members. And if I were Jill, I'd be concerned about having a scared, trigger-happy man with a shotgun standing behind me. Albert Wesker! Chris, this way! And that is not Joseph shooting. That was Jill emptying her entire clip into the Cerberuses. And I don't know why it took her an entire clip, because it doesn't take that many bullets to kill a Cerberus. And she's supposed to be a sharpshooter. This is where Brad runs away. Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? Chris, this way! Where's Barry during all of this? There's Barry! Could you imagine if the opening of the game required you to actively run into the mansion? Enter the survival horror. What is this place? Oh, her outfit was more green back then. Not quite your ordinary house. I always That's thought it was sure. blue, but it looks kind of green. Hey, Whisker. Where's, where's Chris? Chris? Jill, no. no. You don't, don't want to go, go back, back out, out there. But we got to find. What was that? I'll secure this area, aka I'm gonna stand around and accomplish nothing. But I'll be gone when you come back because I'm secretly a bad guy. And if you guys are mad about spoilers, then maybe you should be a little less concerned about the spoilers and the fact that you don't know the plot of a 20 plus year old game. Why are you pointing the gun at the back of Barry's head? Man, people have like... Well, she had... No, she doesn't. She has no trigger discipline. Here we go. This is the moment. It's funny how far into the room I can get, because the cutscene doesn't trigger until I round the corner. I'm in the same room. If I were actually in that room, I'd be seeing things happening right now. But not until the camera angle changes. Alright, we don't want to fight him. We want to go back out into the hall. And another cutscene because we're playing Jill. Jill's campaign is the easier one of the two. Barry, what is it? Look, Look out, out! It's, it's a, a monster! monster! Let me take care of it. Because Barry has a magnum. It's weird that you say let's not leave this hall because if he was in this hall, he would hear you. It's weird that this game scared me so badly when I was younger. I wasn't a kid or anything, but... And there's like so many classic Resident Evil bosses that are just giant animals, and this game has quite a few of them. It'd be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. By the way, have you guys seen the new Resident Evil movie? There is a character in that movie that appears in this game. And only this game. Not the original Resident Evil on PlayStation. No, 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 no. Only the remake. That's right. We start on the first floor. Oh. No, 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 no. One more lap. <laughs> and it just suddenly occurred to me that they had death masks in Resident Evil 8. That was a classic reference to this. 
That is what we want. We want some head pops. Come on. Oh, wow. It only took two bites to die? <laughs> it's an achievement for dying. You are dead. Not the big surprise. All right. That means retreading a lot of ground. Oh, well, I'm dead. It only takes two bites to kill you. It only takes two bites to kill you. That's a bit, that's a bit rough. That is very rough. I'm gonna have to play very carefully. I actually beat it on this difficulty Barry. tonight though. I'll be pretty proud of myself. No. If I can manage to get past this guy without using my dagger. Like that! Ho! Oh, yes! Literally could not be done any better. So all the zombies in that room are dead. In this game, that's not a good thing. But I can go use... It's interesting that on the door is a grave. And if I have to kite these zombies all the way down these stairs... Then I will do that. Head pops with pistols are very hard to do. And they're the only way to be sure a zombie isn't going to be get up again. Even the dead ones. Because they introduced something with this game that was not in other Resident Evil titles. And the night's actually really bright for nighttime. That's right, they can't bite you on the stairs. Oh, for the taser! Because they can't bite you on the stairs. Chibas, you guys take a lot of hits. Oh, I'm dead. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I can do some of that better. Oh, wait a second. Oh no, she took care of it. The door is jammed. Yeah, that's why you need to be out in a hurry because the door is jammed. He's about to say the line, though. He's about to say the line. Barry. That was a close one. He's gonna say the line. You would have fit nicely into a sandwich. He said the line. <laughs> Thanks. What a great guy achievement. <laughs> oh, Barry, you're such a great guy. And that is why we equip the shotgun. Mad that that took two shots, but that's okay, I suppose. Not taking any chances, achievement. What? It's a can of fizz. It's that's sure certain yellow and mellow those things. things. It's yours. This is just a big loop. This is a zombie that you never have to engage with. I'm gonna go ahead and use up this dog whistle to get it out of my inventory. Uh, uh. The dogs are a one-hit kill. Excuse me? Excuse me? And there's two of them. Maybe I can get luckier with the head pops. And I'll take that one-shot pop as well. I am playing some Resident Evil. And I apparently chose the hardest difficulty. And that doesn't seem like the wisest decision I've ever made. But the game defines it as easy, very easy, and normal. This is normal difficulty. If so if the dogs can one-shot kill, everything after that is going to one-shot kill. The hunters, the spiders, everything is going to one-shot kill me. 
And the idea that ev I'm going to get to a point where everything is going to one-shot kill me is kind of nuts. Absolutely nuts. Wait a second. Do I need to use the sword key in the basement? The sword key is finally all used up. Thank goodness. Wow! This room was just a booby trap! Wow, Jill, you're very good at falling over backwards. Oh! Nope, 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 nope! I'm gonna torch some bodies before I go after those dogs again, because I have a feeling I'm gonna die frequently to the dogs. Mad that took two shells, but you know what? That's a body I ain't got a torch, so I'm happy about it. Woo! Okay, so it turns out I could not torch that one. But it's okay. Oh, that's rough! That's not meant to be a dog joke. That was better! That was a lot better. So, I do a good old fashioned Indiana Jones item swap. And I'm fine. Scratching. Itchy. Scratchy. Maybe I'm turning into a zombie. If you're not sure what I just referenced, don't worry. You'll get it in just a second. Four. Dash, dash. Itchy. Tasty. And I better be ready to run. Richard! Ooh! Special cutscene time. You're wounded. Yeah, Richard's very wounded. This whole place is a killing zone. Oh, that's a hike. But I can make that hike. I can make that trip. Because I think if you take too long, he dies. And I don't want him to die. So, at least not here. He will die eventually. I remember that much. But I don't want him to die here. Delaying the inevitable. Barry! What are you doing here? Ah. Jill. Hey, Barry. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Oh, hello. I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. Barry? Thank you, Barry. I could use more bullets. There's a way to do this very efficiently, and I am not doing it. The bee came to life. Which is weird. That hallway? That hallway. That door. You know what? I bet you it's that door. And you don't know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. We will we'll go through this experience together. Jesus! I don't recall killing him! I zapped him! I didn't kill him! Lord have mercy. Okay, well the shotgun's empty now. So... All for the sake of preserving a doorknob. I'm about to do something really stupid. Just to preserve... A friggin' door handle. Two? More than two. I goofed that up really bad. 
I goofed that really bad. I am about to die. Because I went the wrong way. But I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. But that is a lot of zombies. Hey! Yo, 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 yo! Saved around. Because <laughs> I don't know when he gets up. Well, I remember that there was a mode called One Deadly Zombie Mode where he would be wearing a vest full of explosives. And if you shoot him, it was instant game over. He would, big explosion, and you would die. Instant death. Off me, dog! You're not even biting me properly. The first shot was wasted. I spent all six shots. Oh. No! Are you serious? Whoa! Hair trigger! Yes, sir. Okay. Death pop. You know what? It was worth it. I would have had to deal with that sooner rather than later. And now I don't have to kerosene it. Such a weird way to word it. He's given up the ghost. There was an entire section of the piano room that I didn't realize existed because of the camera angles. And it opens a secret door. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. There he is. Payback time. So Richard's dead. He got eight, but I got his shotgun out of it. Oh, am I poisoned? Yep. I need serum. Oh. Yep. This was before they invented the blue herb to deal with poison. Feeling better? Feeling fine. And the boss fights in Resident Evil always seem like to use a wow, ter wow terminology, World of Warcraft terminology, damage checks. It's the game going, do you have the capacity to put out the necessary damage? Or are you going to die? No! That might kill me. Gravedigger. I spent three shots of that gun. I am in danger. Being outside doesn't make much sense considering we ran inside to avoid dogs, but that's okay. We're finally progressing to the second half of the game. Oh, that's right, we got Richard's radio. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? When you hear that little monkey screech, you know they're dead. Oh. 
Now they give us a blue herb. Oh, am I at the pool? I am at the pool. Why their pool has a bridge over it, I do not know. Summit of Mad Fiveness. Here's the thing though, it doesn't say K Valley of Destruction. It says Valley of Destruction. You're missing a C. A little late to tell me that. I'm already here. Look at them jiggle physics. Jill, why do you have so much bounce while walking? Do you not have any support, my girl? <laughs> you guys just keep a magnum lying. Like I said, they give Jill all the friggin' firepower! I don't need to be using the Magnum, though. Barry's been using a Magnum the whole time, so if Barry shot Lisa, and it didn't hurt her... Whatever they did to Lisa clearly works, by the way, because she's immune to all bullets. Just... the poor girl's kind of gone insane. Ooh! Hey, Lisa. Bye, Lisa! If I remember, this is known as the Residence. Which is funny, because the game is called Resident Evil. Because if I remember, there's spiders. So if anyone's watching and they have a fear of spiders, you have been warned. Oh! Well then. He's such a nice guy. It's too bad that he's betraying us. Yeah, I'll go outside. It's fresh air for a change. Yeah. Let's get some fresh air, Barry. Oh, there is something else here. Oh, bullets! I don't need to be in here, though. No. These two guys are made for each other. Why do I feel like I'm about to ask for trouble? Because I am! It's a one-shot magnum, is what it is. So, that's one bullet, but it's a very high power, high power bullet. You know, for a place that's supposed to be like a residency for the workers, there's like only, what, two rooms? If they were to do, like, real high def for this, and not just fake high def, this game would really be something. Ooh-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Oh! I'm an idiot! I came down here without the key! Actually, you know what? Because I used a lot of ammo that I really didn't need to use. I need to grab the blue herbs out here again. That's the downside of this game is having to retread a lot of ground when uh, you die. It is 1.30 in the morning and I am still playing this game. I think I switched to this game at around 7.30? 8 o'clock almost? I had stopped streaming uh, Dead by Daylight at about 1 hour 15 into it, so that was about 7.30ish. Give a healthy estimate of half an hour to install, that's 8 o'clock. So I've been playing for about 5.5 hours of just Resident Evil. Emergency. Emergency. 
emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Oh boy. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Woo! Yeah, baby, more shotgun shells. All right, let's check on the giant shark now that we've drained the swamp. There we go. That's how we do that. I'm about to go into a boss fight. The the snake. Yawn! I just remembered his name. His name is Yawn. Because of how wide he opens his mouth, like he's yawning. I forgot that was the snake's name. We're playing through this game. We're gonna try to get it done in one sitting. If I get tired, because it is two o'clock in the morning now. I've had to do a lot of doubling back. I've also had to do a lot of starting over. Hope I didn't get poisoned. I'm fine. Okay. Literally, that's my that's my condition. I'm fine. I'm fine, and I'm fine. Basically, what I'm hearing is that I can take, I can make this stuff. Then go down to the root, apply it to the plant. And just kill the plant outright. From some kind of pattern, reorder the books. That is absolute scandalous. You know, for a game that's supposedly an HD remaster, about the only thing HD about this game is Jill's Jiggle Physics. And there we go. V Jolts! And we won't even have to fight the plant. We just zap its roots with some herbicide and. Like so! Like they say, this is a DHD version, but it's really not. Like everything just looks stretched. Jill's model is pretty decent with its jiggle physics. Oh, it's mad. What the hell is this thing? Barry just shows up with a flamethrower. It was dying anyway. I'm surprised it survived as long as it did. Wesker. Wesker. Looking for ways to. Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. If there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. Oh, he was shooting bees. Leftover bees. Bees? No more tennies. Yay, no more tennies. No more tennies. Barry, what piece of crap door are you talking about, Barry? Oh! The one that I was worried about going back and forth through. He fixed the piece of crap door. Way too many jiggle physics. Oh god, this looks terrible. That's what we need the shotguns for. Hunters are now on the prowl. Where am I? There are more spiders. Good to know. I 
don't think that's where the poison comes from. No thanks. I said no thanks. Why do you keep getting up? I could have been doing that. Oh, wow. Uh... He took that door clean off its hinges. And now... I get to play... Puzzle games. You know what? I don't need to go this way. I just remembered there's another route that I can take. And I don't want to waste all the bullets that I just got. Where am I going? Gone's upstairs. I need to be going upstairs. Where the hell am I going? I'm not even thinking about where I'm going most of the time. Wow. The pistol. The pistol did the job. I just have to fix the elevator. That's all I gotta do. No big deal, right? Yeah. The other one is also a crimson head. Get out of here. That was my last shotgun shot. And I panicked. Fired off a pistol round as well. When I absolutely did not need to. I am so inefficient at this game. Shotgun shells. I will take them. Yes, please. Thank you very much. May I have some more? I have zero reason to go back to the residence. Absolutely not. That place is thoroughly picked over. Barry was just making an excuse. The courtyard. It's a lot left to do with the courtyard. That's hella sus, but okay. More ammo? Yes! Oh, yes, I said yes. Take it, please. I need more handgun bullets. Arrico! He just got shot before he could talk. And whoever shot him already left. Stop getting up! You give me pistol bullets and you make me spin grenade rounds. What the hell, game? You give me 30 pistol bullets and then make me spend so much everything else. This area is completely optional. I don't have to be here. Are you serious? Okay! I really had to do an Indiana Jones bit. Okay. That's, I have a feeling we're going to be bumping into Lisa again here soon. Or... The giant spider boss that I forgot was in the game. Survival knife. I 
because theoretically, I didn't have to fight it. And you know what? You know what? Since I'm gonna reset for the optional boss, it's four o'clock in the morning. And actually, I know that I am going to end up needing. Well, I'm gonna pass back through here anyway, so. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. Flirting but with you on why? your deathbed. <coughs> hey, Jill, are you. The stars are finished. Seeing anybody? Someone is. A are you traitor. with anybody? Umbrella set us up. <laughs> Abrigo! Nice hard shot. Exploded the man's heart in one bullet. Definitely a professional. Yeah, because that's what we call an item lying on the ground. Holding something with your feet. I might have done this earlier and then came to the realization that I could have done it better. Acid rounds are one and done. If I had known that, I probably would have saved a lot of shotgun rounds. If I had known that the acid rounds worked so well on the hunters, I would not have been hoarding them as much as I was. Oh, am I not allowed to just run? I got the door open. I can't just run. Excellent. I would like to not have to pass through there again, but I probably have to. Did I grab the crank? I hope I grab the crank. I hope I grab the right crank. There's two cranks. Before I go any further, this is the wrong crank, isn't it? It's the wrong crank! This spider is probably getting really annoyed with me. It's like, she keeps coming back! Just leave, woman! Oh! Just because it says insert first aid kit, it doesn't mean it's a first aid kit. That's something I've learned. In this case, though, it is a first aid kit. All right. The shaft! Will you take the shaft? Jill! Barry? Thank God you're safe. Hey, it's Barry again. You too, Jill. I believe the lab is the door under the stairs, but I have a feeling something is about to happen here. Lisa! I hear her. What the hell is that sound? Lisa Trevor! Could be a person. Could be a person. It is a person. Jill, go check it out. Oh, no, not that way, not that way, no, ma'am. Oh, there's a lot of things in this room. Hello, magnum rounds, and more bullets, and another battery pack. Barry! This is where Barry betrays me and leaves me behind. She killed her mother, but that's because the diseases... One makes her basically superhuman, but two also messes with her mind. This is a tr oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Go ahead and throw the lever while we're here. She kind of clubs me a little bit. Like she's more scared than anything. Yeah, that's the wooden hatch that leads out into the courtyard. Oh no! I didn't think I'd be coming back here. He's a crimson head! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, run! Run, baby, run! I didn't think I was going to be coming back through there. Crimson heads are arguably the scariest thing here. Zombie? Let's... I'm not coming back here! I don't need to kill anything! Once I pick up George Trevor's stone and metal object, I am done. He 
theoretically, you could probably beat Lisa there. Like, you can kill Lisa, I'm sure. But there's just so much... There's just such an easier way to do it. There's one. And there's two. Two of them to the door. Open it. Here we go. We are going down. And we are finally getting to the basement lab. Jill. You're alive. I was worried, because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Oh, the pathing on this is not going to be easy, actually. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. Thanks, Jill. I told you, getting pushed off the cliff is the real threat. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I'm glad I saved. I'm glad I saved. Did I save? Did I save? Where did I save? Where's my last save? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Where was my last save? Stairway? Is that good? Fear can't kill you. Actually, people have died of fear. Thank God. I'm not shooting at her. There's there's no point in doing that. Push, Jill! Push! Thank you, Barry. Keeping her distracted. That's what Luz wanted. The mother's skull. And that's that, with Lisa Trevor. All right, Barry, start talking. I don't believe that thing's really dead. It's not. Leave this place up to me, go on ahead. Okay. We're, we're just gonna forget about his betrayal for now, and then it's gonna probably be a problem again. But, uh, yeah. God, it's weird that they gave her such an elaborate burial. But maybe they also knew Lisa was looking for her and they just wanted to spite Lisa, but that's a little odd. I think if they were to remake this game again, it would probably tell a more sensible story. I just hope that not a lot of gameplay is lost in the translation. But if they give us more of the Trevor family, tell more of that story, maybe give us more of an opportunity to really get to know Bravo Team before they die. Like, the one we spend the most time with is Richard. Richard Aiken. Not Clay Aiken. He clearly did Aiken. Poison. And then he got eaten. That got really uncomfortable. Oh, no, wait, there's an elo... Oh, no, wait, I just came through the elevator. But yeah, they would have to pass through Jessica's grave to get here. That's just so morbid. But a very good way to remind your workforce, this is what can happen to you if you don't comply. Go for the head pops. Yes. Oh! Well, that's what the defensive items are for. And what head pops are for. Both of my tests came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. You got COVID in 1998? A head pop with a pistol. Talk about luck. Defense dagger. How many defense? I have so many defense items. 
Like, I could just run head first into zombies at this point and save bullets. If a zombie bites me, as long as they don't bite me from behind, I just... Colon, esophagus, liver, lungs. Cell is the password. Cell is the password. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. We're dealing with, uh, biology. That again, that's a really simple password. That would fail password security protocols at this day and age. This is the Ada, of course, of Resident Evil 2 fame. And they're gonna be like, oh no, we need another password. Oh no, whatever could that password be? You know, for a laboratory though, I get that it's a basement lab. That's a lot of water leakage. This doesn't seem sanitary. Third ammo disc. Bio-organic weapon research group development staff. It's funny how you could tell Wesker by his slick back hair and sunglasses that he wears no matter wherever he goes. Security system passcode transmission device. Good. I am going to be using up my inventory. And you know what? It looks like a GameCube, and that is on purpose because this game originally released on the GameCube. Look at that. That's a GameCube. This film. The film that I had from a long time ago. Uh, what? Get away from me! Uh, no! Hey! Uh, no! Ah! Wow, Kenneth, you were a terrible shot. You were a terrible shot, Kenneth. You'll make sport of chicken or jarred. Refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because it's an empty capsule. Another GameCube. Another lock. The nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion, so I have to walk this thing where it needs to go. But I've cleared out everything between point A and point B. And I forgot about Jill's jiggle physics when, you, when she's just walking towards the camera. It's the one thing on her that moves. Like, look at that. She's got more bounce in her chest than in her walk. That's the passcode. That's the M. So it was in that room. And, and <laughs> just dropping up to the ceiling like that. That's the third lock. I wanna... I definitely wanna search that last room, though, before I... go into what I feel like is probably a boss room. Oh! Actually, no! I know exactly what that room is! I need to do that room! This... this is the prison, and I know who the prisoner is. Hey, Chris! Jill? Chris, Where have you been? You're alive! Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open. Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay. No sightseeing though. But I also just remembered that now that I've supplied power, I should be able to open the the elevator right. Look at those doors. First, is there anything in this room? No, okay. Let's get out of here. Woo! Jill. Hey, it's Barry. Could have at least waited up for you.
Ready for the betrayal. Wesker! Sorry, Thank man. you, Barry. Well, what do you know? What do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. Like, you take your eyes off her for two seconds, you should be able to just end him. And now I really want to see an HD remake of this. Like, a proper HD remake of this. Like, in the vein of the new Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, because... It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate the thoughts. Thanks, Barry. Barry! Shit! He's got a bulge. I just realized the tyrant has a bulge. Because he's not wearing clothes, but he's got a bulge. What? Premature. Viral cultured freak. That's a little too close. All that took was a shotgun, several shotguns. Wake Barry. Up, Barry. Barry. <sighs> About the Jill. weight Sorry about the weight. Hey! So everything's taken care of? Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. Come on, come on, hurry! There's Barry and Chris. We go through this door here. Shotgun, anyway? Yeah, 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 yeah. Glad I'm getting plenty of time to finagle around with my inventory. I don't think the timer actually is going to start. But I've also got, like, I'm probably oversupplying here, but. Of course. Let's make a little room, just a tiny bit. One more item box. For juggling inventory right here, that would have been nice. done with the tyrant. The tyrant is the final boss of this game. Chris and Barry are like, she just keeps going in and out, in and out, in and out. And then up and down, up and down, up and down. We are in a hurry. What are you doing? This is Brad. I'm running out of fuel. If there's anyone alive, contact me now. Just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. Are you kidding me? You're really 
Really? You're really doing that to me. Sorry, guys. Uh, apparently, the game is requiring me to have one open inventory spot. And you know what? Now that I think about it, that's absolutely brilliant. Because they need to make sure that I've got room for uh, the items that I'll be receiving on the roof that are essential to finishing the game. Can, can you imagine what my clear time is going to be for this run? This run is awful. But it's been so good to play this game again. Wow, you guys turning in unison. On the same wavelength, huh? It's weird that they're both wearing stars vests, but one is green and one is red. Like, did we not have a uniform? Oh yeah, and then I'm not wearing bre uh, a vest. My boobs are just out bouncing free because Jill with her 30 million DPI gravity. Three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad. No! We can make No! It. Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? Alright. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. I've got three minutes. I can get a bad ending here. It's crazy that it's counting while I'm on the elevator. <laughs> that doesn't seem fair. There's only one rocket. I don't know why we didn't just come up together. Here we go. actually kill Barry. Barry's out of shots. Ooh, he slapped me pretty hard. What? I don't need the shotgun. I don't need the shotgun. I'll leave the shotgun behind, thanks. I need the healing items. I need the healing items. You know what? I'll leave the shotgun behind. Hey. Oh, I got body. firepower than I needed. The Magnum does the job. Alpha Team's finest, and I'm a member of Star's Achievements. Alpha Team's finest, I believe, was the Jill Escape, and uh, the Alpha Team's finest, or the other one, I'm a member of Star's, is before rescuing Barry and Chris. See the residency back there? It's funny that in this cutscene, her outfit is blue. But her outfit was more of a shade of green throughout the entire game. Red, green, and blue. Very colorful, Star's team. Buskers was black and blue. Vented by Capcom. Jill? 
You did a fine job. 107 creatures dispatched. 312. Oh, hold on. I just got a bunch of achievements at once. Excuse me. Ammo used 312. Ink ribbons 25. Health items used 37. Seven hours and 44 minutes total. What, what are those achievements I just got? Like taking candy from the baby. Finish the game on very easy difficulty or higher. Not in the mood to die. Finish the game on easy difficulty or higher. Take that, zombies. Finish the game on normal difficulty or higher. Defeat a Crimson Head Prototype 1 using Jill. Grave Digger, a.k.a. George Trevor. That is crazy, though. Yeah, I really did just kind of go and beat the game on the highest original. Now, play with features from the prototype version. Real survival mode unlocked. Item boxes are no longer connected, meaning that items can only be taken from the box where they were stored. Also, weapon aiming is manual. Experience these prototype only features unavailable in the original Resident Evil gameplay. Jill has a new costume. You got a closet key. New costume has been unlocked. You can change in the dressing room. Where is the dressing room? So I did just unlock a bunch of things, but as promised, we're going to move over to a different game now. Now that we have finished Resident Evil, I definitely want to play this game again, though. And the background has changed. Pretty sure that's different. Pretty sure that's different. So we're going to quit out. And we're going to fire up some...